All right, everybody, I am about to pack up Zegris's Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, one of one, cut auto, dual jersey, dual bat, and I am busting out the black gloves. I've never <laughs> done the black glove thing, and I, it's been kind of a joke, just a little bit of a joke about whether or not Crack and Wax should start using gloves for cards, but... Uh, I would say that it's this time it's warranted. I didn't realize that we were going to be pulling essentially the hit of my entire life out of this box. So I didn't have gloves on when I originally handled it. This is going to be the first time I'm touching this card since the break. So here we go. Now I'm packing it up for Zegras in a flawless briefcase. I knew it was a it was a smart idea to hang on to that. And uh, we'll give everyone one final look at the card before it goes off to Canada. All right, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put it back in the NT box, but I'm going to use this foam in the bottom. I've uh, kind of pre-cut it, hoping it eh, didn't do too bad of a job. Yeah, it fits in nice and nice and tightly. And then I'm just going to put that on top there. So that fits perfectly there. And there should be a little bit more give with the top box. I'm going to put this little piece of foam on top there. I'm going to put uh, his other... One of his other cards that he got, this is Buster Posey, so he got uh, he got Mr. Posey in that break as well. And we'll see if that shuts. It does. All right. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these damn gloves. <laughs> Go get some painter's tape. And we'll tape that shut. The reason I do painter's tape is it'll it'll keep it shut, but you can also remove it a lot more easily than like packing tape. And I always do a little flap on the top so that you can easily peel it from the, you know, you take this and you just peel it off the box. So, and I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to start kind of at the top here and I'm going to loop it around the box a few times or a time and a half whatever it is all right so now I've got this little tab here so it'll be nice and easy for him to just unravel it when he's ready okay so I'm going to put that right here now the the flawless box and the NT box are the same size so they will fit into that flawless case like so voila all right and he also got a skunk pack so i'm going to stick that in one of these empty spots here as well okay i'm going to shut that up all right so he's got keys in there too so i'm not going to lock it out on him we'll just keep it in there as is and i'm hoping let's see I'm hoping this fits in one of these UPS uh, padded envelopes. Uh, maybe it won't. Gosh, I hope I was hoping it did. Well, I have another idea then. I think what I might do is cut this open. I've got a couple of these and we might just wrap it around that way. I suppose I should have tested that part out first before I started videoing this. That is quite okay. Yeah, I might have to cut that open too. We'll cut that side as well. We'll get this to work. It'll be real nice and protected. The card itself will be just fine. This is now just a measure to keep the briefcase protected as well. All right. So 
So the briefcase has a little bit of that around it. And we'll do one more of these around the other side. And then we'll tape it shut, we'll box it up, and we'll ship it off. Same thing. It'd be a lot easier if I had a roll of bumper, uh, bubble wrap left over, but I guess I could go out and do a shopping trip if I'm not satisfied with it. So it's either going to be this, or if this doesn't work, I'll just go, go out and buy a roll of bubble wrap and just do it that way. But I think this might be okay. All right. Yeah, well, looking like I might need to go shopping for some bubble wrap. I don't think... Uh, that's going to go all the way around, but you, you get the gist of it. So it's going to be in there. And obviously the shipping box I had hoped to use isn't going to work, but uh, I do have other boxes to use. No big deal. This will still get boxed up and shipped out appropriately. So, but the whole point of uh, this exercise here was to show that the, uh, the card in question was going to be going into a flawless case and then, I wasn't going to, be, going to be touching it with my grubby little hands. So, All right, just a quick update here. Literally like a minute or two after I finished uh, not giving up but deciding that I needed to go shopping for some bubble wrap, I literally found a box that was exactly the right size for the briefcase. So what I did is I, I put the UPS open bags surrounding it again so it's completely surrounded on all but the front and back sides and i did happen to find just a little bit of leftover bubble wrap so what i did is i tucked the leftover bubble wrap which again just happened to be the right length for this box the right width for what's left over in the box everything is completely surrounded by padding and bubble wrap uh you name it and added benefit i didn't have to tape this bag so that's not going to get uh, it's not going to get bound up all over itself and now it's just a matter of closing up the box i mean there's nothing rattling i mean this is this is a perfectly this is a perfect box and which is great because uh, th this sucker is going to get shipped and i'm going to know that the contents are going to be uh in the possession of the owner exactly the way that i put it in this box and that's exactly what you want when you're shipping and uh, i couldn't be happier with how this uh, ended up being packed up so and and lq gives me crap for hoarding all these shipping supplies and this came in real handy i'm able to do this today instead of having to wait a day or two just to find the right stuff so and uh yeah there you go so i'm gonna get this uh get some packing tape on this get this shipped out and that'll be that all right, everybody, thanks for watching this, and uh, as always, keep cracking that wax.